Good evening everybody and welcome to our time of prayers. We gather together as a church to pray together for the 40 days through Lent. Thank you for joining with us this evening. This evening we're going to pray together for Darlington as a town and the surrounding areas. Please, as we go along, use the chat bar and please put in your own prayers. I think the more interactive we can be, the more we can share with one another um, how we are praying together. It, it just lifts people and encourages people. So would you um, please join along and put your own prayers um, into the chat bar as we go this evening. I want to read to us to begin today from Jeremiah chapter 29 and from verse 4 it says this this is what the Lord Almighty the God of Israel says to all those I carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon build houses and settle down plant gardens and eat what they produce Marry and have sons and daughters. Find wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage so that they too may have sons and daughters. Increase in number there. Do not decrease. Also seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it because if it prospers you too will prosper yes this is what the lord almighty the god of israel says do not let the prophets and the diviners among you deceive you do not listen to the dreams you encourage them to have they are prophesying lies to you in my name i have not sent them declares the lord this passage this evening is a moment where the people of God have been sent into exile. They are living in Babylon and God um, says to them, build houses there in that place. Make a life for yourself in the exile that you've been sent into. Let your sons and daughters marry. And for me, the key passage in this um, chapter, God says to the people, seek the prosperity of the city into which I have carried you into exile. Because if you... If your city prospers, you too will prosper. And so friends, I want to encourage us, not just tonight, but to begin to develop a habit of praying for our town. To begin developing a habit of praying for our leaders. To, to develop a habit of praying for our services and our schools. And not only that, but to ensure that we as a people are contributing towards the prosperity of the place in which we live. Because if the town prospers, we too will prosper. And I guess it's all of our hearts and our desires to see God's name lifted up in this place. To see justice and righteousness prevail throughout Darlington. So let's lift tonight. Would you join me in lifting our town before God? We're going to begin this evening by praying for our um, leaders. So we're going to pray this evening for Peter Gibson, who is our MP, for Chris McEwen, who is our mayor, for the council leaders, Councillor Heather Scott, um, OBE, who is the leader of the council, and for Councillor Jonathan Dulston, who is the deputy leader. And I encourage you to write those names down somewhere in your home. Get a prayer book, get a notepad, Write them down somewhere in your home. Go and find out who they are and regularly as part of your prayer, lift those people up to God. Would you join me just now in doing that? Lord God, this evening we thank you for our town and the surrounding areas. Lord God, we thank you that you love Darlington. We thank you that you are concerned about this place, that you care about this place. Father God, we thank you that every man, woman, boy and girl is known by you. And Father God, we bring our town to you today, acknowledging and declaring that you are king over this place. We raise up the name of Jesus as a banner over Darlington. 
Lord God, we pray, Father God, that, that you would be made known in this place. May the glory and the majesty and the power of Jesus be made known in this place. May you fly as a banner over this town. Lord, this town that has a Quaker heritage, a heritage built in its previous prosperity through the railways and so on, was built on a foundation of Jesus Christ. And Father God, we pray that what the enemy has taken over the years as the churches have shrunk and Christians have become few. Lord God, we pray that you would give us this place for our inheritance. Would you give us Darlington for our inheritance in Jesus' name? Father God, we pray that in the heavenly place this evening, a battle will continue to take place. Would you command the host of heaven, Father God, to come and to fight on behalf of Darlington, to come and to stand on behalf of this town. And Lord, we pray that what the town has known in the past, as it's been in exile itself over these many years, we pray, Lord, God that Jesus Christ would come right back to the forefront of this town we pray Father God this evening that we would see a revival in this place we pray Father God that we would see men and women and boys and girls bow the knee for the very first time we pray for those with a heritage of knowing Jesus who've walked away through the generations. We pray, Lord God, that you would take back those people for yourselves. Would you cause people to dream dreams when they lie down on their beds? Would you cause them to see visions during the day? But Lord God, would you draw the men and women of this town back to you, we pray. Lord, give us this place for our inheritance. Please, Father God, go ahead of us and may Jesus be made great in this place. Lord, we lift up today our counsellors. We lift up our MP and um, Peter Gibson to you. Father God, would you place your hand upon him? Lord God, would you work in his heart? We pray, Lord God, that Peter Gibson would seek not just the prosperity of those who are already prosperous in this town, but I pray that he would seek the prosperity of the most vulnerable, to seek the prosperity of those who are facing and suffering injustices, that he would seek the prosperity of those who are lost and forgotten and down and out. And Lord God, we pray for a miracle to happen in this town. Lord, may you stir his heart, not just for politics sake, not just for saving faces sake, but Lord, would you stir in his heart a deep and a genuine desire and concern for the prosperity of this place for all. So Lord, we give you Peter Gibson. Lord, we pray for our Mayor Chris McEwen. Father God, we pray for his heart to, to be stirred in the works that he is able to do. And Father God, we pray for, for the reach of his hand in this town to, to start to form some fantastic new things, to support some fantastic new initiatives and may his influence be used for the glory of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray today for our council leaders. We pray for Councillor Heather Scott and we pray for Councillor Jonathan Dulston and the rest of the council. Father God, we lift them to you and we pray, Lord God, again, that their hearts would be stirred for the prosperity of this place. Lord God, God, we pray that issues of injustice would come to the forefront in this place in Jesus name. We pray, Father God, for those um, in this area that are living in slavery. Lord, may that issue rise to the fore in Jesus name. Lord God, for those that are going hungry in this place, for the working poor, Lord, may you stir their hearts in Jesus name. We pray, Lord God, for those facing great injustice. May you stir their hearts and bring those injustices to the fore in Jesus name Lord God we pray Lord that you would cause them in their hearts to lead with integrity and wisdom may all of these men and women know integrity and wisdom and may you Lord God affect their lives and their hearts and their minds come Lord Jesus you are our leader before these people are ever our leader and we pray that you would have your way in Jesus name we're going to pray just now for our NHS services um, and other services, our fire, our police. And I want to encourage you again to regularly draw to God in prayer and lift up our services, our local services to God. You know, I've seen God do some amazing things through prayers, which sometimes people may think would have 
I have or make no difference. And yet I've watched businesses transform simply because we prayed for them. But that's a story for another time. Would we pray just now for our NHS and our mental health and other services in Darlington? Father, we lift up um, our doctor's surgeries. We lift up our doctors to you. Lord, we lift up the strife and the stress that they're under right now. We lift up the, the, the problems, the issues they have getting this vaccine out. And Lord God, the way that doctor surgeries are inundated and staff doctors and administrative staff are exhausted from all that's been going on. Lord, would you undertake for them? Father God, we pray that you would find a right path for our government to not put too much burden and too much load onto a system which is already trying its best and struggling father bless our doctors we pray bless them with wisdom from heaven give them eyes to see when they meet or talk with their patients in jesus name bless the administrative staff and the cleaning staff of those places father god place your hand upon them and we pray for smooth running of those services we pray for managers in hospital and business managers god we pray for righteous and integrous decisions to be made in those places in jesus name father god we pray for our mental health services and um, father god we pray for for a clear strategy as we move out of covid for our for our mental health services and as they begin to pick up um the devastating effects of covid and the the pandemic and lockdown on people's lives lord we pray for them today would you give them wisdom would you give them insight lord god would you make a way we pray for all the finance and all the funding that is needed to create a good service in darlington but lord we don't just want a good service we want an effective service would you help father god to make a way to create an effective mental health service in darlington for all those involved Lord God, for mental health nurses, for mental health doctors, Lord God, for, for all the staff and administrators, Lord, would you make a way amongst them, bless them, keep them, we pray and give them wisdom from heaven. Lord, we pray for our police services in Darlington, again, the service which is overstretched, Lord, would you bless our police service. Lord, we pray for those at the top who would make the decisions, give them wisdom from heaven. Lord, we pray that those that make the decisions about the, how the money is used, Lord, give them integrity and we pray that issues of injustice and oppression and and look god we pray that they would bring real justice in people's lives in jesus name bless our police officers father god bless them keep them safe protect them we pray in jesus name we pray for our fire service father god in this place would you bless our fire service would you bless our firemen lord god would you bless those who make decisions Father God, would you bless them and keep them and hold them in Jesus' name. Protect them, Lord God. We thank you for them this day. We pray for other services that come from the council, Father God, from the street sweepers to, to the pothole menders, Lord, to, the, um, to those who work in social services. Um, Lord God, with both children and elderly people and those vulnerable or at risk. Lord God, we pray for all of our services that our council deals with. Even, Lord God, our dustbin men that come and empty our dustbins. Father God, would you cause our council to prosper? We pray that righteousness would rule in that place and in those offices and in those departments. We pray, Father God, that your Holy Spirit would move through every department and that righteousness and justice in the name of Jesus would reign in Jesus name we're going to spend a moment just now praying for our schools in Darlington um, I'm going to pray particularly today for Corporation School which is the closest to Corporation Road uh, building and to Polo Hall School which is our closest one to um, the Grange Road building so would you pray with me for them but please add your own prayers as well because I know many of you have involvement in other schools so let's pray for our schools but don't friends just pray for them today let's pray regularly and if you have a school that's not in Darlington pop it into the bar as well and we can just pray for them together let's pray father god we pray for our schools throughout darlington we pray lord god for our primary schools our secondary schools our college and university education lord god we pray um as they have had to deal with so much over the last year father god we pray 
for a sound way forward to be made for them. Lord God, we pray for the head teachers. I pray especially today for Corporation Road School and for Anne Pringleton. Father God, would you place your hand upon that school? Would you bless them? Would you bless Anne? Lord God, would you give her good strategies? for the school, Lord, for the, the deputy head and the rest of the staff and, 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 and all those that are involved in making that school work together. Lord, would you place your hand upon them? Would you bless them? Lord, as they're exhausted, I'm sure many of them are exhausted right now. They're tired of the change. They're tired of what's been thrown upon them. But Lord God, I pray, would you refresh and renew their hearts? Lord God, would you teach us as a church how to be a blessing to them? So come, Lord Jesus, we pray, move amongst them and bless them in Jesus name Lord we pray for Paulham Hall School and for Kate Reed the head teacher there Lord again we just pray would you uplift the staff in that school would you bless them would you keep them we pray again for good decisions to be made and Lord we pray Father God in that school that Father God that we pray that Jesus would be made known. So Lord, for both of those schools and all the schools in Darlington and the secondary education and beyond, Lord, we lift them to you and we pray, have your way in our schools. I think of Mel and Martin Stand who work in the various schools and other churches who are involved in the schools in Darlington. Lord God, may Christ be proclaimed. We also pray, Lord God, for all of the the pupils involved in those schools who have had such a tough year. Lord, may you undertake for them. May they know there is a God in heaven who knows their name and loves them. Do you join me in praying for the other churches throughout Darlington just now? And again, pray for them regularly. Lord, we lift up um, the other churches in Darlington to you today. Lord God, we are thankful for them. Lord God, we are thankful for their partnership in the gospel. Lord God, we are thankful for your kingdom extending and expanding through each of those churches. And we lift every church to you. Lord God, our brothers and sisters in Christ. And we pray, Lord God, bless them. We pray, Father God, cause them to be fruitful in Jesus' name. We pray, Father God, that in this coming year, that, that whatever you have called them to would be successful in Jesus' name. I pray that, pray that as they follow Christ, and as they lay out their plans and schemes, may they be successful in Jesus' name. I pray, Father God, that these churches would seek the prosperity of this town in Jesus' name. So bless those churches, Lord God. Bless the finances of those churches in Jesus' name. Bless the work of the hands of those churches in Jesus' name. Bless the unity of those churches in Jesus' name. I'm just going to finish this evening by praying for some of the groups that we partner with. Conductive Life Services, which is the group that meets upstairs in our building. Step Forward Tees Valley, who meet in our building on a regular basis. The 700 Club, Morrison's Trust, and just all of the other charities in the town that we partner with. Would you join me in prayer? Father, we lift up Conductive Life Services to you. Step Forward Tees Valley, 700 Club, Morrison's Trust, and a myriad of other charities in our town that are seeking to work alongside people. Lord, we pray that in the midst of what has been an awful time, would you bless them would you make a way forward for them make their services fruitful we pray in Jesus name Lord let men and women be changed and helped by the things that they offer Lord come I pray and that for whatever they've struggled whether financially whether staff wise however they've struggled over the last year Father God make a way into the future for them we pray together this evening in Jesus name I want to encourage you to make sure that all of those things are a regular part of your prayer life, whether you want to do that daily or whether you want to set aside a day in which to pray for Darlington. But those prayers do make a difference. And I will share some of the stories with you, my personal stories sometime. I'm going to read this to close this evening and it's from the Celtic um, Book of Daily Prayers. And just as our day draws to a close in the stillness, in the quietness, as we have lifted up our prayers to God, as we've come before him and cried out for this town. I find thee enthroned in my heart, my Lord Jesus. It is enough. 
I know that thou art throned in heaven. My heart and heaven are one. I'm going to read that one more time. I find thee enthroned in my heart, my Lord Jesus. It is enough. I know that thou art throned in heaven. My heart and heaven are one. Thank you for joining with us in prayer this evening. And we look forward to meeting together again tomorrow night at 9pm. <laughs>